as promised, Decoop back again with part two of the 40 pack bundle opening. And I know people are thinking they're probably, if you're new to my channel, you're like, hey, did he open, only open like five packs the first time? No, I had like 50 packs on deck. I actually opened 15, but this is just part two. So you guys, if you missed it, part one was uploaded earlier today. After I watched this, I would definitely go check that out. As you guys see, Bears uh, jersey. And I will not try to say that guy's name. And a Jason Jones. This guy was so valuable on what was it madden 25 like everybody was after if i if i recall correctly everybody wanted the jason jones it's tavares jackson let's check out with the speed on to 82 wow man they, they kind of robbed tavares on this one but maybe i'm wrong as we move on to the next pack i want some elites man elite jimmy graham elite jarvis bird I can't believe the Saints cut Champ Bailey as I get a Daniel Manning. I'm not even paying attention. 95 speed, but that zone coverage leaves a lot to be desired. Like, if you're a safety with bad zone coverage, you're going to react pretty terrible and probably not be my ideal safety. Like, even uh, even strong safety or free safety. Like, you, I want both of my safeties to be able to cover. You're not going to be designated like Kenny Vaccaro. I've talked about this guy so much, but... I'm probably aiming to get him as my strong safety as I got a Quentin Carter to close out that pack. In this pack, we get Hussein Abdullah, my first card in the pack with the 87 speed. Another, how are you going to be a safety without a zone coverage in the 80s? But luckily, this guy does go into a set. I think I'm getting a little too comfortable with these sets. Because I'm not sure how long these will be relevant if you guys get me on that as I get a Sean Payton. It says Coach N.O. But we all know that Sean Payton. Like, once it once December comes, I'm probably not going to be close to completing half of these sets that I put these cards in. When I could have just took in the coins. Like, I, I don't even know who you get for completing the set. Is I don't even want to talk about that, man. That pull was pretty bad. I don't even want to talk about it. Like, I don't even know who you get for completing the Kansas City uh, Chiefs set. I don't know who the captain card is off the, off of my head, off the top of my head, uh, anyway. So, here we go, guys. Still on the alert for some elite as we get a Sean Prater. Pra Prater? Prater? That, that has to be Prater, right? As a Josh Norman. Wow. So, we're back to pulling the same cards. Like, I've pulled so many Josh Normans as a Dennis Allen Raiders offense. Hopefully, that can be better this year. Uh, Derek Carr, I believe his name is, leading the way. The the brother of, uh, man, I, I forgot his name. Derek Carr. I forgot, man. David Carr? Is, is that it? I think that is. As I get a D'Amico Ryans right here, 75 speed, 85 tackle, 87 pursuit, 89 play rec. If uh, this was my first day, I probably I probably would plug him in there. But I have the two Penn State beasts at middle linebacker, so I have no room for him on the roster. Probably gonna go ahead and sell him. Check this out, Tyrod Taylor, 86 speed, which I, I guess is kind of fair. And uh, when looking at these cards, I guess I can't get too mad at the overalls as I get an Austin Howard. Let's go ahead and check out his attributes: 88 run block, 77 pass block. But a 75 impact block. 90 strength though. But I don't think he's going to play for me. I don't remember if he went into that elite set for the Raiders or not. I think it just said gold. So here we go. A T.Y. Hilton. Now T.Y. is a cool card. Sells for like 10, 11 K. 93 speed, 80 awareness. T.Y. tore up the Seahawks last year. He, he ate them alive. He had Seahawks for breakfast, but sadly, uh, I think he, I think he tore up the Chiefs too. And sadly, it wasn't in the. Oh, here we go! Super Bowl champion collectible and a Harry Douglas. So I thought when I got the Super Bowl champion collectible, at first I thought it was a Michael Irvin, but obviously it wasn't. It was, it's just a collectible. I'm not going to add this to set because. I, I'm aware now that I'm getting too happy. Well, I like, just throwing stuff in the set. Like you really do get too comfortable just chucking stuff in the sets and just and just moving. So we have a, a good bit of packs left. I'm probably gonna pull around four to five more before I uh, end part two. So Nick Be Beckton, a uh, Jeff Fisher, a Chance Warmack. Yeah, he does go into a set. 
Wow. How can his pass block be so bad? It's a gold card, though. I'll take it, man. A Jason Phillips and an Allen Robinson. So I, after this, like by the time this commentary goes up, probably going to be planning my pre-draft strategy for my fantasy draft in an hour. I'm planning for this to go up like 8 or 9 central. Is I get a Calvin Pryor. Rookie for the Jet, strong safety. I thought he was a free safety, uh, but I guess he is a strong safety. 95 hit power, 76 pursuit, another strong safety with zone coverage in the 70s. Not a fan of that. But with that being said, it does look like a pretty decent card. Not going to break the lineup for me. The Jets also did cut Stephen Hill today. Crazy day of cuts. Man, the Saints don't even have a kicker right now. Are you kidding me? And here we go. Mike Evans, let's get it, man. 88 speed, 90 spec catch, 92 release. The Buccaneers receiving core is about to be real on my team. Holy cow, man. 88 speed, 89. And he's a good run block. Six foot five beast, perfect for my possession scheme. His route running leaves a lot to be desired. So you guys can bet in one of my upcoming videos, I will complete that Rising Stars Mike Evans collection. Part of the reason I'm so excited to have him is because, uh, like I said, I run a, a heavy blocking scheme uh, for my receivers. Like, you got to be a good blocker to play for me. Well, you don't have to, but it helps a ton. So I got a Brandon Pettigrew, and I saw uh, Gibbs playing with him. If you guys don't know, a uh, big guy in the Madden community, he made the, the, the guide for the game, I'm pretty sure. He was killing it in the stream with them. Man, his streams go hard, too. Isn't that like... 500 viewers in his stream so here we go guys this might be my last pack depending on how i do and anderson russell a bengal stadium come on man where where are the pulls at show me some pulls a fred evans we just pulled mike evans and an arian foster oh my well, yeah we, we have to end it on a good note, 88 speed, 88 agility, 92 carry, 90 truck, 90 excel, 95 ball carrier vision. I think we're going to have to end it on that note. Surprised they did give Arian such a good card because wasn't he hurt for most of last year and his body has kind of turned uh, frail. I can say that I may stay away from Arian in the fantasy draft tonight. I wish I could like live stream it or something, but I don't think I can. So you guys see Arian Foster, man, pretty good pull. Not going to play for me. Probably just going to sell him right away. Is uh, I have Matt Forte going for Captain Forte too. That might be the next series, but I'm focusing on completing uh, the the Vincent Jackson and the Cam Newton first. You know what, man? Forget it. I might even go for Captain Paul P because, like I said, I already have most of the cards. So uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Be sure to leave a like if you did, and also subscribe to my channel if you are new, guys. I'm Decoop, more Madden 15 Ultimate Team coming out soon. I'm out.